This video will provide termination instructions for the Propel 24 fiber stranded splice cassette. Using thumb and finger, disengage the rear tab by lifting and pulling backward to remove the cover. Remove the spools and splice holders from the cassette. Then remove and discard the foam blocks. Locate ends of pigtails marked with tape. Unspool and extend pigtail fibers beyond the front of the cassette. Strip fibers to recommended feeder strip length per table 1. Leave approximately 1 inch of strength member. It's recommended to use the supplied gray foam to secure the cable in the splice cassette. Secure cable tie around foam, strength member, and cable. Snip off ends of cable ties close to head. Push the head downward until it is below the top of the cassette wall. If using 24 fiber cable, separate into fibers 1 through 12 and 13 through 24. Then extend feeder fibers beyond the front of the cassette base. Measure and trim pigtail and feeder to specified cut length per table 1. Using the provided splice protectors, strip, clean, cleave, and splice fibers following standard splicing methods. Locate P and F markings on the spool. When loading splice protectors, ensure the pigtail is on the P side and the feeder is on the F side. Load splice protectors into splice holder. Using the spool fiber fingers, route pigtail fibers counterclockwise until feeder and pigtail fibers converge. Position spools to prepare for routing. Route pigtail and feeder fibers corresponding to fibers 1 through 12 counterclockwise starting along the outer half of the cassette and work inwards with each consecutive loop. Line up the pegs on the cassette base with the mounting holes on the spool to finish routing. Position spool of fibers 13 through 24 as shown to prepare for routing. Pay extra attention to the routing of the feeder strands 13 through 24. Route pigtail and feeder fibers corresponding to fibers 13 through 24 counterclockwise starting along the outer half of the cassette and work inwards with each consecutive loop. Line up the pegs on the cassette base with the mounting holes on the spool to finish routing. Line the cover with the slots near the front of the cassette base. Then lay the cover flat on the base and ensure all the tabs on the side of the cover and base are lined up. With one hand holding the cassette base, push the cover forward with the other hand to engage the tabs. Double check the rear tab is also engaged to prevent the cover from sliding off. 